Well, you know, anywhere you go, I go. You know how that works, right? It's always nice to see you, too. Golden Globe nominee. Oh, it's so exciting. This is a huge weekend for you. A very big weekend for you. It is. It is because it is because I'm here with all the four of the cast members are here from from all different uh, parts of former Yugoslavia, and they are so excited, and, and uh, so so I feel like the country's here with me, you know, as a foreign film, we're, we're very, it means a lot. And to be included in this group oh. of foreign film directors, you must be on cloud nine. Beyond my, you know, you, you make your first film and you just hope you don't completely fail at everything you intended to do, and I was so nervous about the politics being received well, and then it opened in Bosnia, and it's been received well, and I... And, uh, and then this was just, uh, so, just something none of us expected, and it's just, uh, it kind of just doesn't seem real. Yeah, I saw a little bit of your live uh, webcast, yeah. and, and I was really taken by how, how overwhelmed you were mm-hmm. during the process of making this film, to the point where you, you almost collapsed. No, no, I had a breakdown, like, I, like just, you know, me collapsing is crying. Brad would say, you know, my version of it is me collapsing, me weak in my view, and his view is very strong, but... I, you know, you just you just sit under the hot shower and you just cry and you cry and you cry and you just don't know what you can, what you can do. But uh, physically, it, never, no. Okay, but emotionally, good. emotionally, I was, all right. Emotionally, I was uh, just uh, just feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, overwhelmed yeah, just, with the process. Was, and just the responsibility, actually, never the process. The process was wonderful, but the responsibility of of doing a film about a country that you're not from and a history that's not yours, and you meet people from that area and you and you care deeply about them and you're taking them back to this horrible part of their past where they're going to have to recreate. Something that's very painful sure. is very, um, you know, it's just emotionally difficult. So I sure love that. I love that Maddox was able to oh, so funny. <laughs> ask a he question. Came home, I said, "How did you even?" Like, yeah, he was laughing about it. And was that your favorite scene in the Sisters Reunite? Yeah, it is. It is. It's the scene. one. It's the. I mean, there aren't. You know, there aren't a lot of happy scenes in our film. So it's one of the few. It's one of the few moments where we realize that there is still love in the middle of all this uh, violence. Yeah. Yeah. You guys just, you guys just met with President Obama. What was that all about? We, we met on different issues. He, he, he went uh, to mainly speak with Biden about a building in uh, New Orleans and um, other parts of America. And I went with Sana Marianovic, our lead actress, to speak about um, Sarajevo, Dayton, and the fact that Dayton was set up years ago, but it wasn't uh, supposed to be permanent in the final solution, so there's so much work to be done. And Srebrenica and our concerns about some... Uh, some things going on, and, and so we just um, we, we we spoke with him briefly, and then we spoke a lot to the people that work, uh, you know, certainly underneath him, kind of in the trenches, and tried to figure out how we can do some stuff um, to continue the healing in Bosnia and make sure it's heading in the right direction. So that must have been a, that's a big moment meeting with the president. That's wonderful. Yeah, it was wonderful. I was I was just very very happy that Zana had the floor to have her mom to represent her country and tell. And tell him, uh, you know, to, to make sure she spoke to Bosnia today, and, and um, you know, they were asking what what it's so important for them to. Of course, there's so many things going on in foreign policy that you just you, you want to make sure you have that window to also also remember this country and also remember these issues. And and she spoke beautifully, and she represented herself and her country very strong with uh, very specific uh, concerns and asks. And I was very proud of her. So I was really there just to stand by her. Give her support. Yeah. And the CIA director, you know, are you doing <laughs> SALT too? <laughs> no, no, he and I met in the field actually years ago. Okay. Trace and I have met a few times in the field, so... so uh, it was just a reunion. Well, we, you know, I, I do I do plan to follow up on work in, in Iraq and, and, um, and in Afghanistan, and I do... I do actually try to have these meetings to to meet with the high-level officials to figure out what's going on and what they uh, what they think needs to be done, and and to really get a sense of what's going on the ground because you can read so many different things in the news, but you really want to, if you can, get the ear of somebody who really knows what's going on and ask a few questions, then you can uh, really know how better to help when you get back in the field. So he was he's always been very forthcoming to me about information and teaching me about uh, what's really happening. You know, he doesn't belittle me. He really talks to me. And he helps me then to, to do better work.